people welcome back to the canada info Up channel my name is wolo i live in winnipeg manitoba canada and i love to talk about everything canada of course you know now i want you guys to come to canada okay so if you're new to this channel um it's a channel about canada immigrating to canada life in canada and everything canada and i would say subscribe to this channel yes just give me the thumbs up destroy the like button <laughs> Am I bringing it back? Am I bringing the destroy the like button back? I don't know. Don't spoil your food. <laughs> anyway, how are you doing? Um, over here, the weather is getting better. Um, it's six degrees today. So yeah, we are getting to spring. It's getting better. Um, winter is over. So I'm sure you are experiencing heat where you, wherever you are. But don't worry. You will soon come to Canada to experience all the cold. Yeah. So, um watch this video until the end there will be a quiz and i will be announcing who the winner of the quiz will be for the giveaway in my last video i talked about celebrating the seventy thousand subscribers and i was going to do a giveaway so watch the video until the end if you're able to answer the quiz correctly then you will be the winner of the giveaway okay so that being said today's topic you must have seen the thumbnail and that is like job search in canada work permit in canada and i decided i was going to do this video as a result of the number of emails the number of dms i have received concerning getting a job from outside canada most of the inquiries i have received so far is can you help me with a job search can you help me with a job search now that you're regulated can you help me with a job search and i said i was going to do a video to you know talk about this um to talk about job search in canada um job offers to people outside Canada and what it entails as a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. The first thing is for me to be able to help with a job search, I need another license. If you don't know, anybody who is a foreign worker recruiter in Canada must have a license. So I just, I said, I was going to put it out there. If anybody is telling you outside Canada that they can help you with a job search, ask them for their license. For you to recruit someone from outside Canada, the person must have a license. So if I'm going to take the role of, let's say, talking to an employer to recruit people to come and work for that employer, I will need a license. Or if an employer comes to meet me to say, um, Wolo, I want you to help me find 20 foreign workers to come and work in my farm. I will need a license for that. And the cost of the license is dependent on each province. It is not one general license that you have that will cover all provinces. It's not like my immigration license that I have to cover every aspect of immigration. No. When it comes to foreign worker recruitment, this is a different ball game entirely and it is managed by each province. So if I'm going to help an employer recruit workers in, let's say, Manitoba, I will need a license for that. But unfortunately, Manitoba law puts it in such a way that I cannot even get the license because they see it as a conflict of interest. So I cannot get the license. And for me to be licensed in Manitoba, I'll have to pay a $10,000 bond. Yeah, it's that expensive. So for those who are asking, you know now, if I'm going to get that license, it's going to be a $10,000 bond, which means if I get the license, I cannot provide the service of recruiting you and immigration at the same time. It's either I provide one and I leave the other one for another consultant to do, or yes, I cannot do the two at the same time. So that is it for Manitoba. It, the cost is $10,000. For Saskatchewan, it's $20,000. For British Columbia, $20,000. Alberta, twenty. I don't know what I, I didn't check for Alberta and Ontario. But I'm just doing this video to let you know that for one to be a foreign worker recruiter, the person has to have a license and the person needs to provide a financial security bond. Like you need to provide either a letter of credit or a security bond, a financial security bond, which the government would hold. So <laughs> I don't have that money <laughs> to go be gathering all these licenses. So for those of you who are sending me emails, now that you have become, now that you are regulated, can you help me with a job offer? Can you help me search for jobs? I'm sorry, I cannot do that because it requires another license, like I mentioned. And I don't have 
twenty thousand dollars to drop in BC or twenty thousand dollars to drop in Saskatchewan or ten thousand dollars to drop in Manitoba or another twenty thousand dollars to drop in Ontario for me to have the licenses. It is not like you just have one license and it covers all. No, you have to have each province must have their licenses and you must drop this money. So I said I was going to share this information. If you're out there, somebody is telling you you can get a job or they can help you get a job. Tell the person where is your foreign worker recruitment license because those licenses they are very expensive they are not easy to get so if anybody's offering you a job offer ask the person where is their license and if they cannot provide their license ask them where is their security bond of course if they cannot provide it the person cannot help you with a job offer so that's why i always i've always encouraged that you do the job search yourself do the job search yourself that way you're cutting off somebody being the middleman for you because if the person is the middleman of course there is a lot of factors that go into um getting a job but with a foreign worker license the person is not supposed to charge you for helping you get a job no the person is not supposed to do that the role of the person is supposed to be connecting the job applicant to the employer if the employer likes the person and wants to employ the person then they will pay the employer is the one that's supposed to pay the foreign worker recruiter their own money not you who is looking for the job so if you're going to look for a job look for a job yourself don't pay anybody to help you look for a job and that's why i said if you're going to look for a job get a candidate standard resume and do the job search yourself like I said, I don't have all that money to be spreading from Manitoba, Saskatchewan, BC to get the foreign worker recruiter license because it's a separate license itself. And I said I was going to share this video so that you are aware of what is going on in Canada and you should not be deceived by anybody that they can help you with a job offer. If anybody is saying they will help you with a job offer, ask them. Where is your foreign worker recruitment license? If they don't have that license, then do the job search yourself and don't pay anybody money to help you search for a job. So this is the information I said I was going to share today. Please watch the, um, the slide at the end of this video for the quiz and I'll announce the winner uh, in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah.